I have been long awaiting this day. The end of the time skip is finally here. We finally get to progress once more in the Arcane River. And the next area is Morass. Okay, I was about to say let's get right into Morass because there's a lot of story, but this is the first recording since post time skip and there's a lot to go over. You can see my level is now 236, which is a far cry higher than 230, which I thought I was going to be. Uh, the next thing on my notes is that my charm has increased a lot. My charm is now 85. <laughs> so uh, when I have time, there's going to be a lot of charm quests to do for a lot of permanent expressions. Since I have five of them, and I think I'm about to get like four or five more. Uh, next thing on the time skip that I got was from doing my daily Arcariums, I found a real Dominator Pendant, which I'll have to explain what Sweetwater transposing is much later. Just know that I have one. I'm hoping to turn these event rings into meso rings in the future, but um, for now they're damage rings until I get more rings much like this Kana ring that I can get to 17 stars, because I believe 17 stars is when they finally exceed the event rings. Next thing on the list, time skip got me a lot of got me a lot of node stones and my tri nodes are now over level 40. And what this means is that let's see my cleave says at level 20 max targets plus 1, at level 40 defense ignore plus 20%. That means it's really good for fighting bosses. That's on top of what it says at the bottom, which is 88% final damage. It's almost twice as strong as what it was at fourth job, and it's still growing. I believe level 60 is max, so these are really strong and they're only getting stronger. Also, I've unlocked new spots in my V matrix, and I've been using conversion overdrive lately, which is nothing special, it's just another buff to add to my burst. Next thing on the time skip to discuss is that I joined a guild. I joined a guild called Debris. This guild has been quite nice so far, and I think most people tend to join guilds before what I've done so far. The biggest reason why I wanted to join a guild was because guilds give you noblesse skills, such as 30% damage for 30 minutes, 30% crit damage for 30 minutes. These little skills are something you can only get in a guild. So I knew I had to join one eventually. And let's see, next thing on the list. You may have noticed that I got a second pet because an event was giving away pets. This thing right here gave away a pet box. So I got this free pet and it had auto skill on it. So I trained it to use my Maple Warrior and what does it have? Auto loot, auto feed. The good stuff. It's nice to have two pets because it speeds up their ability to pick things up off the ground. And also, now that it has the auto skill, it frees up some more space on my keyboard, which my keyboard's starting to get very full, so I do need that space. Um, next thing on the list is actually Soul Weapon. Now that I have a real 17 star weapon, I can turn this into a Soul Weapon because that's something I haven't explained this whole time because I've Never had one. So let me just pull this off and use this 60% soul enchanter. These things are rare, but I'm pretty sure these do not have a chance to break the weapon. So just throw on as many as you want. And there. This weapon can now house a soul. What is a soul? When you kill bosses, they drop these soul shards. So if I just take... I'm going to do Cygnus, honestly. Just because I think Cygnus looks cool. Swift. I don't think that's the good one. 24 decks. Well, this is mostly going to be a placeholder until I see a magnificent event or until I get a lucid soul. So I want to double click this and put it into the weapon. My weapon is now infused with Cygnus soul. So when I put this on, I now have this weird effect over my head. And if I go and kill a lot of mobs, it will turn into this cool effect. So 
this is going to segue really nicely into the last thing on the time skip list, which is that I found a new Aetherforge discovery on Adele. I found out Aetherforge, which if I use plummet really quickly, oh right, it's not turned on. <laughs> if I use plummet, the forward slashing part of this, I found out that does more damage and has a larger hitbox depending on how many swords are present up here in this Aether Forge meter. So if, for instance, I were to spend all of it on swords and just remove them. Okay, see how I have no swords in here? When I press plummet, nothing happens. Okay, now that I have one sword, Look at this really pathetic hitbox. It's a really small looking skill, and it does a really small amount of damage. Okay, now that I have two swords, it's a slightly bigger hitbox, and it does slightly more damage. You can sort of hear it's hitting more times. Now that I have three, listen to the sound of it. It's bigger and it does more damage. So, why is this important, you might ask? Because when grinding, you'll notice I have three swords, but it's still filling. If I keep using cleave, I get to a point where it's full here, and then I can release two hunting swords, because they always come out in pairs. And then I don't lose any of the swords up here, despite the fact that I now have swords following me. So, I found out that it's more optimal to just keep using the two swords you have out until you fill the gauge and then release another pair. Don't release them all at once. Release the swords only when your Aether Forge is full. Watch it shine. It's full. And then release another pair. And now I have six swords. Okay. And as I was talking earlier about the soul weapon, you may have noticed I now have this portrait of Empress Cygnus above my head. Well, the dark one, the boss version. And also, this strange little meter thing over here says, down, down, up, up, attack to activate effects. So let me see if I can do this. Yeah. Now I have the Cygnus boss following me around. And apparently she follows me around for some time. And she does a very small amount of damage. <laughs> it's kind of funny how small damage she does. I believe souls do more damage based on how much magic attack you have. And I'm a warrior, so I don't have a lot of that. So this isn't exactly important, but I guess it could be important later for if I get a lucid soul. Okay, anyway, the important part about having a soul is that it gives your weapon a lot of flat weapon attack. It says right now plus 18 at the bottom, also plus 24 dex. I think when this meter hits 500 is when you get the max benefits. And as you kill monsters, it fills up. There, plus 20 attack. I don't think you even need a soul equipped to get that plus 20 attack, but I figured I would show this anyway. Generally, I'm never going to use this effect thing to summon Cygnus because She's not doing a whole lot, but the flat 20 attack is very nice. Also, in case you're not a fan of the effect that hovers above your head, you can just turn effect off, which is what I do. And then soul weapon minimize. Maybe I'll we'll put it up here. It doesn't need to be anywhere special right now. But I think that covers it for what I've been doing during the time skip. I haven't gone anywhere, but I've gotten a lot stronger. But anyway, without further ado, it's time to go to Moras. The flow. Flying fish, you're back. Bloop. <laughs> the forest is rebalanced and the arcane river's flow is back to normal. Time to ride the flying fish. Is the flying fish sinking? I can't. Breathe underwater. It 
It's the edge of the arcane river. You can talk now? Oh, this is quite a magical place. And I'm not just any flying fish. But you've never spoken before. I couldn't. But here, near the morass, where the Erida is more concentrated, things are quite different, you see. Morass. Erida. I knew we went downstream, but... This? I had no idea a river was so... deep? It looks... incredible. And somehow I can breathe underwater here. Yes! Isn't it amazing? Oh, and I should introduce myself. I am not just any flying fish. I'm the will of the Erida itself. The... the will? Nothing special, actually. It's... just think of me as a proxy for the Erida itself. I'm just trying to save the world like you. That sounds awfully special to me. It's time I finally let you know about all your yap yap yapping on my back since Choo Choo had latched. Breathe in. You so- Well, it's a complex story and we're not exactly safe here. Why don't I provide you the details on the way? For now, just follow me to the right here. This way. Sure. Robots? Underwater? There appears to be normal gravity here, though. These are called xenoroids? Why are they under the water? The Eridas here mimic the memories of others. It's a survival technique. They can become their enemy's greatest fear if need be. So what you see here is somewhere within your own memory. Have you seen these xenoroids before? I've never seen these creatures. How could it mimic my memories if I've never seen them. Perhaps something within you remembers them. Sure. <laughs> Day one and more ass. I already have the 50% 50, 50 bonus and I can one-shot them. You're nothing to me. So, one of the first things you might notice here in Moras is that these maps are big. A lot of your friends might tell you, don't train in morass. This is the reason why. The maps are just very, very big. So the best tip I can really give for doing any sort of killing in morass is find these little portals. They will help you a lot. because. There's a lot of ground to cover in these maps. These are rather weak enemies to me now. The Erida will take whatever form it needs to protect itself. Sometimes that includes incredible strength. Well, if they are incredibly strong, that would slow us down. Where are we going anyway? You'll see soon enough. Now that you've decreased our numbers, let's continue onward. I'll meet you at Path to the Coral Forest 4. What, there's someone here? Okay, this person will keep me defended then. Your constant complaints and whining were certainly my favorite aspects of having you travel on my back. <laughs> there it is. These enemies must hold some significance for you. If this is the form the Erida chose to mimic from your memory. You claim that you've never seen them, and yet these enemies seem to be bothering you. Well, I can't remember them. Yet... They seem so familiar. They're clearly a very prominent figure in your mind. For the time being, you should reduce their numbers as well. Oh, just a bloom killed them? I didn't even use ruin. Isn't it wonderful, the ability for the Erda to be born anew? Wonderful isn't the first thing that comes to mind as I fight them in battle. Wait, I sense her nearby. She's closer than I expected. Her? Who? Donna! Her presence alone is enough to affect even me. We must proceed with caution. She's directly ahead. Arcarium? And who is that next to him? <laughs> Your mental state appears to be deteriorating, Tana. Who? Who are you? Who... Who am I? And why do I hurt so badly? Your name is Tana. I just told you this. 
Do not fear. The Great One is waiting for you. He can keep you from pain if you share your power with him. The Great One. The Black Mage. I... I remember him. But didn't he seal me away? He did. But it was for your own safety. In sealing you away, he saved you from unbearable pain and eventual madness. You should be grateful to him. But we've already been through this many times, Tana. We don't have to repeat it again. They're going to get away. Can you catch up to them? I'll explain more wait later. But we must get that girl away from Arcarium right now. She doesn't understand the damage that she can do. Arcarium, remember me? You? What are you doing here? How dare you interfere? Interference? What? Is the river's current getting stronger? What's going on? It's Tana! She's scared! And her power is unbelievably strong! She's affecting everything in the area! I can barely withstand her influence! How is she doing that? Is that... a castle? Where did it come from? Chufei... How can it still be here? Not again... She's regressing! We need to get out of here or we'll get caught in the memory loop! The memory... what? This power is too much for you to control. You must control it yourself, Tana. <sighs> Have you managed to calm your mind again? I think so. But that castle... It's not real. It is at once real and not real. Your mind has made it real. Now come with me. No! We should be safe here. What happened? Isn't that the sealed castle of Critias? Only an imitation. It's just a shell. It's a sort of morass, if you will. Morass? Yes. It's a distorted plane of existence that has been created from Tana's memory. Just as the Xenoroids were created from your memory, this castle was created from hers. We see it as it exists in her mind, but in actuality, it's a living coral reef that has been transformed. It's mimicking her memories? I thought the monsters I saw were from my mind. Correct. Those monsters were from your mind. Because you were the strongest thing in that area at the time. But this? This has changed because Tana is stronger than you. Tana's memories have overridden everything now. Her power exceeds that of the Black Mage. What? That's why the Black Mage wants her. We can't allow our Carrion to exploit Tana's power. Does Tana want to help the Black Mage? It's unlikely she even knows what she's doing. The Black Mage is taking advantage of her weakened mental state. So perhaps she could be convinced to stop. Perhaps. But you must be careful. If something goes wrong, you could end up stuck in her memory loop forever. Remember that the morass is incredibly strong. Remember. Remember what the morass can do. Huh? Was I a bit more to the right? Slowly, slowly. It's a wonderful day. Dad, look. Good afternoon, soldier. Ma'am? Where? Flying fish? Where am I? We were at the bottom of a sea and there was something I had to do. Th the Arcane River. Following the Black Mage. Or perhaps not the... Excuse me? Thanks, Shay. I'll be sure to put this money to good use. Dark Sights. <laughs> Jean? What? His name is Jean? Did he say my money? Off they go again. Jean, Shay? Don't run into the street. It's dangerous. Mm. Oh yes, copyright free cats. Nameless cat. <laughs> I like the nameless cats. A boy and a girl. I found you. What? My dark sight wore off already? Yes, now give me back my money. I think I'll just uh, give it to these cats. Here, kitty kitty. Shiny new toys. What? No, no kitties, those aren't, those aren't toys. Better hurry up and catch them, or those cats will run off with all your cash. <laughs> Remember, John the Thief always has a backup plan. I need to get my money back. 
prettiest coin? Big kitties. Hmm, seems I don't have enough arcane fours to get the 50% bonus here anymore. It was only the first area. Good old public domain cats. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of hyperlight blocked. I managed to track it all down. Just wait until I catch you, Jean. Alright, down a bit. Hot work for no payoff. Now I'm hungry too. Another traveler. Maybe I can scrounge up a meal after all. you. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, cut it out. The rope is fraying. It's about to snap. Take cover! There's an emergency. This can't be. All the people just disappeared? Where are they? What happened? I told you it was an ordinary anti-magic stone. What's happening over here? She reformed right there before our eyes. I couldn't look away. She was beyond human. It was terrifying, but magnificent. What just happened? Adele, snap out of it. Huh? Flying fish? What just happened? Why am I in Critias? And people keep calling me Shay, and I keep responding to it weirdly. I warned you not to get wrapped up in the memory loop. But now you're in it. Everything feels so natural. We've been absorbed into Tana's memory. Your mind is inhabiting someone from her memory right now. Someone named Shay, I guess. Did Tana do this? No. She's a prisoner of the Moras, just as you are. Moras. That's right. We're underwater somewhere. Those trapped in the coral forest of Moras become lost in the memory of the past. They'll remain in those memories forever, eventually becoming Erida themselves. What? How do I stop this process? And why did we come here in the first place? You wanted to discover Tana's identity and to rescue her. Was that my plan? Is there a way out? This is Tana's memory, so it depends whether you can break her out of the memory loop. F flying fish? Did you say something? Flying fish? What are these candles for? Critias. A memorial for those lost on that fateful day. Gosh, I love Moras a lot. Can't believe more people don't like it. The soldier said that merchant will arrive soon. One of the deliveries for the reception is late. Did you go get it? Uh, me? Sure, I'll, I'll get just to the right. You can't miss it. Don't be shy. I... Right. I could gather some information doing this. Uh, flying fish? <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Let's go up. Oh, it does go up. Nice. Hey, old man. Do you not hear me or are you just stupid? I said, pay up. You want a primo market spot? You gotta fork over the dough. I said, selling door spot. 19 mil with a power elixir in the shop. Y you see, a business has been down lately. Is there a problem here? Nothing that concerns you, girl. Get lost. Shay, perfect timing. Help me out here. Back off, you greedy thugs. Shay is a priest of the Great Temple. I'm a priest? I mean, of course. Whoa. 
Well, we'll just take these things and get out of your way then. You can't just go around taking what you want. That's my livelihood you're running away with. Shay, be a dear and get those ripe apples back from them. Business is bad enough as it is. Oh, uh, sure. I love this. They're called powerful gangsters. I don't know if they still have these, but I think there's still an elite mob called powerful. So you can see a powerful, powerful gangster. And it's one of the best screenshots you can get. Another good one is befuddling befuddled spirits in Arcana. Oh wait, I'm supposed to be picking up these apples. And apparently I'm a priest. Did you hear that? They think I'm a mage? Thank you so much. Now I can get this food delivered. I'm glad I could help. Oh, hello there. Would you mind doing me a favor first? A favor? Sure. Teach the strong gangsters a lesson about manners. Alright. You ready for this? I just killed powerful gangsters. Don't get them mixed up with strong gangsters. When you get daily quests and it says kill 200 strong gangsters, every time I'm like, is it the powerful gangsters or the strong gangsters? I hate this. Yeah, these ones throw bombs. They throw them so slowly. <laughs> They're like little wiffle balls. I recall there was a time a long time ago when I seriously considered this for like a training ground. Because this map is kind of not bad if you're fast at it. I might consider training here later. Because these mobs are level 238. So that's actually a level range for me. Do you know about that monument in the center square? Yes. It was placed after that anti-magic stone fell and broke all those years ago. The moment the stone shattered, everyone in the vicinity disappeared without a trace. It was much before any of their times. Is it true that there was a survivor? You mean the angel of death? People call her an angel of death? She was quite frightening if you saw it. I'll never forget her. I couldn't sleep for days. She just vanished after rematerializing like it was nothing. And the way she looked, too. That darkness. Her eyes. She was up to no good. Only someone incredibly powerful could have managed something like that. I suppose that's why they took such interest in her. They? Who, who took interest in her? The soldiers. Once they got a hold of her, no one ever saw her again. There have been all these rumors, though. You know, there's one person who might know more. He's been asking about those rumors, too. Uh, I haven't seen him lately. And who might that be? Jean! You should know him well. He was the last one to see her alive. Or so they say. Of course, dear. It's good to see you again. And there's one more thing. A researcher came by looking for you, Shay. It seemed urgent. You may want to find him. A researcher is looking for me? Immortality. It seems so impossible. Shay, you're late. I looked everywhere for you. I was worried something might have happened. The high priest already arrived and went straight to the observatory. I thought you were going to arrive with him. High priest? You should go see him. You've never met the high priest before today, right, Shay? R right. Welcome. You must be tired from your journey. I'm fine. Sir, what are you looking at? I've never seen a bird fly that high. I... Yes, sir. The birds in Critias are known for that. I once heard a tale of a man who went blind from staring at the skies wishing to become a bird. It's a miracle that blindness was the worst of it. What? Humans have a remarkable stubbornness that defies even grievous injury. Arcarium? The High Priest Arcarium. As a boy, he displayed remarkable devotion to the Goddess, earning himself a coveted position high in their ranks. However, I was never comfortable with his pessimism or stony expression. Am I underwater again? If the High Priest was Arcarium, then Tana and Arcarium already knew each other. These two must be connected to the ceiling of Curtius. But where am I? Is this True Fae's dungeon? The 
music here is so scary. It's like almost silent, but like every five to ten seconds there's just that sound. You probably can't hear it on stream, but I will do my best to make it loud enough to hear in a YouTube video. It's just very quiet here. My name is Donna. You. Do you know who I am? You said your name was Tana? No one remembers me. I remember no one. All I have is my name. What? But you. I know you. You know me? She looks like she's in pain. We're only testing whether we can transfer her regenerative power to the others. The subject is fine. It's a side effect of the daily experiments. Daily? Yes. We need to do our dailies so that we can get rewarded our arcane symbols. If the experiment fails, the test recipient vanishes, but her power enables her body to restore itself perfectly every time. She's barely even aware that it's happening. This is inhumane. Whatever she looks and acts like, she is not human, therefore it is not against our laws. What you see is a shell formed by the power she possesses. She barely even exists at all, according to our known laws of physics. She experiences no emotion, desire, or memory. That doesn't even seem true on a surface level. I don't think I'm explaining this very well. The notes in our research journal explain far better than I can. I'll get it for you. The research journal seems to be missing. One of our researchers recently had a bit of a scare in the lower dungeon. He must have dropped it before they ran out. A scare in the dungeon? The flickering torchlight in the corridor has played tricks in your eyes. Our rather flighty researchers tend to let their imaginations run away. After that last incident, I haven't been able to get any of them to go down there anymore. They keep saying they see shadows dancing. You're the only one that will go down there. Would you look for the missing journal? Sure. Even if there are creatures down there, they shouldn't be able to stand up to me. I like how these... These shadows are like actually alive and attack because the Swamp of Morass specifically creates this place as Tana remembers it, which means that Tana believed the ghost stories. Tana believed that the shadows actually would attack and thus there are shadows here that attack. Wait, do you want me to check this entry? Come on. Oh nice, I'm starting to see familiars. Get somewhere safe before reading the journal. Well, I'll see an AFK mob if they strike me. Hecatonian year 52. Subject number 618. They obtained a high value subject to study the power of immortality. All prior attempts to harness power have failed. We've only just begun the ascent to immortality. Day 13. Memories and emotions seem to be tied to the body rather than the soul. She lost much of herself when her physical body perished. Month 9, Day 17. A year of exhaustive research with number 618 has revealed nothing to us. I fear the clues we need may have been lost with her memories. She just keeps saying my name is Tana, as if to remind herself. My only chance is to risk more extreme methods. We must force the subject beyond her regenerative capacity. Month 9, Day 18. The results of today's experiments were shocking. The subject went berserk and unleashed a flash of light, just as it had the day the anti-magic stone broke. Six of our best researchers vanished without a trace. Then she spoke to us. My name is Tana. Her voice was so calm. <laughs> just pick up one of the notes that says, you think you're gonna get a boyfriend? Well, you Did you find the journal? Yes. Who wrote this? The former high priest. He resigned shortly after the incident. Here's what he put in his final entry. This is neither magic nor science. It is beyond human. It is of the gods. We have overstepped our bounds. The high priest is here. 35% damage to recipient due to rejection. Regeneration rate 100%. Full restoration is complete. And it is a success for now. Congratulations. Arcarium. Is this the
the real Arcarium, or just a copy of Tana's memories? Increasing output. Stop. Any more will tire the subject unnecessarily. Understood. We finally made progress on the path to immortality. Our next step will be to prevent the recipient rejection entirely. We must find a way to ensure that Hecaton survives the transfer of power. That's enough for today. Good job, everyone. If this continues, we may yet succeed on the day of Hecaton's ascendancy. Ascendancy? Good morning. Are you... in pain? The pain is unbearable. How can you stand this? Don't you want to escape? I'm sure you're capable. Don't you hate the people doing this to you? Hate. I don't know. Hate. How could you not? I had never seen anything like her before. Everything about her was dark, cold, and bleak. Just like her prison. The last thing I ever expected was that a ray of hope would find its way into that place. Well, that wasn't very stealthy. <laughs> I guess this really is a dungeon. Jean? What's Jean doing here? Hey, I remember you. You remember me? I'm Jean the Thief. Short, sweet, rolls off the tongue. Ladies love it. You saved me from the crystal. What's your name? Tana. That's a pretty name. Nice to officially meet you, Tana. You don't seem like a big talker. You seem kind of sad, really. I don't blame you. This place just sucks the happy right out of you. Sad? I don't know what sad is. Really? Must be nice. I don't think I can get you out of these chains. There's something strange about them. Sorry. I'm really good at picking locks. Though they had been reunited at last. Jean knew he couldn't rescue her from the terrible place. But he returned every day after that and did his best to keep her loneliness at bay. I thought you might be bored, so I brought you a book. Can I read it for you? Bored? I don't know what it means to be bored. Well, being bored is like... Actually, that's not important. Why don't I just start reading? A long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, there was a beautiful princess who was held captive on a magical island. You hungry? I brought some bread for you. He was so determined. So dedicated. He did everything in his power to help her. Every day, Sean came back to see her again. But Tana remained distant. There was no way to tell what effect his visits had. His Majesty is growing impatient. What should we do? We can't minimize the rejection value. Have we exhausted even the High Priest's abilities? What's going on? We're preparing for an unscheduled experiment. Can you gather some materials for us, Shay? Uh, sure. Sean is good, good boy. Also, it's the weirdest thing. Oh my gosh, I finally remembered his name. Every time I looked at Jean, I was like, Adele has someone important in her life whose name is very similar and I could not remember it. And it was the most fitting thing that I was having trouble remembering. And his name was Jerome. Free her. I am trying. But also, I have to play it cool because uh, a lot of other story stuff going on. Because, like, technically, like, for the sake of the story, my character in canon is definitely strong enough to just like shatter the chains and like get moving however if we scare her she can like destroy the world but currently her mind is really messed up and she has no idea what's going on free her calmly there she is rejection is nearing critical has she reacted to her regenerative capacity yet this is the girl that will bring me immortality. What is the king doing here? Your majesty. You disappoint me, Arcarium. Your progress in these experiments has been far too slow. Raise the intensity. 
but your majesty, the rejection Do levels. not question your king! Raise the intensity as you command. Rejection levels are rising. We're losing control. We must stop the experiment, your majesty. Stand back. Do not stop the experiment. The king's body. How did he survive? Is he no longer human? The day of my planned ascendancy approaches. Use any means necessary to ensure it is a success. If you fail me again, you may not live long enough to regret it. Why can't we find the solution? It doesn't matter. This is the last time I'll ever be in this horrible dungeon. The subject will vanish regardless of whether the king's ascendancy succeeds or fails tomorrow. She looks the same as before. As if the experiment didn't even happen. The king is forcing Arcarium to perform these doomed experiments over and over. Yes, last one revealed Hecaton for the monster he truly was. Flying fish? You're back? Shh, he's coming. This is important. How have you been, Tana? You don't need to come here anymore. Huh? What's wrong? The book. I'm tired of it now. Please, stop coming here. And I don't believe you. The test subject will vanish, regardless of whether the king's ascendancy succeeds or fails tomorrow. Vanish. Tana? Not human. Vanish. Vanish. Tana? It hurts. Make it stop. It's me, John. You'll be okay. Stay back. I will kill you. Vanish. Is that what I wanted? To vanish? Why? Tana, it's okay. No. It's okay, Tana. I'm here. I'll always be by your side. Because I need you as much as you need me. And I think you know that. I think we both know that. We should always be together. Stay back. I told you. I will kill you. I can't stop it. John, I'll protect you. I'm fine now. Wait, that worked? <laughs> I'm glad. You can't keep coming back here. It's not safe. But... But you don't know how the story ends. The princess is rescued by a brave knight. No, you are not a knight and you're not a princess, but that's not stopping me. I may not be a real knight, but I'm telling you, I'll find a way to save you. Her smile warmed my heart. I would have loved to see the two of them smiling forever. But fate can be cruel. Sometimes I think it all had a purpose. Each story, each person, individual, but working together like cogs in a machine. The end of Critias was at hand. The escape failed in the end. It triggered the fall of Critias. But that means that I have to help Jean successfully escape. Change the story. It's the only way to draw out Tana's consciousness. And, uh, uh, flying fish? It's time. Soon I too will become trapped in the memories of Moras. Of Tana's memories. But I need your guidance. You have to complete this task. I need more to go on than that. Don't worry, in this place, there's always another chance. There's always a backup plan. And why do you want to meet me here again? M me? What? Right, Jean. I... Where did Flying Fish go? You're not suspicious of me, are you? Suspicious? Me? No. Be careful. It's dangerous this late at night. <laughs> I'm Jean the Thief, Master of the Darkness. You merely adopted the darkness. Huh? Did you just jump scare yourself? Look, I'm trying to help you, because the whole of Curtius is at stake. If the King's Ascendancy goes wrong, more people could die. A lot more people. Tana's special. This is really important. Don't you think I already know that? <laughs> you don't understand. 
It's more than just courteous and steak. What? That, that's what I'm telling you. Look, I have a special gift for her, but somehow I managed to lose it. Could she help me find it? You are insufferable. So, what was it that you dropped exactly? It's, uh, something Tana would like. Is it a ring? Sorta. Experiment's gone wrong. Good to see I can still one-shot them with Aether Forge. These monsters are five levels above me. I only have a 130% damage bonus on them. I guess technically 30, since 100 means normal damage. A necklace? Perfect! Wait, this looks like an anti-magic stone fragment? <gasps> Don't drop that! Don't you remember the last time one of these broke? Shatter this and every living thing in a small radius will disappear without a trace. Why are you carrying something so dangerous? Anything worth having comes with a little risk. The more beautiful and special something is, the more dangerous. Just like Tana. You should be more careful then. The next place you need to go is the abandoned area. The next place? So, what is your plan exactly? Simple. We unchain Tana together. Then, we quickly use the anti-magic stone to get outside. They'll drop the magic barrier over the castle when they perform their experiments. There's a barrier? Yeah, if it wasn't for the barrier, I could have gotten her out a long time ago. And then what? Well, the guards will be hot on our tail, so I've got a getaway vehicle ready. You have a vehicle? Of course. I've been planning this for a really long time. You've thought this through more than I expected. I had to. Well, how do we make this happen? The only thing we need is the key to unchain her. I know there's an extra one hidden here in the abandoned area. Is still not dead? Okay. All set. Let's go get that key. Jean, I'm curious about something. Huh? How did you get into the dungeon? Did you leave the note about the secret passage? No? Oh. Maybe Shay left it in this timeline. Yeah, I left a note. How did you know? It said, use your sneaking for more than stealing wallets. Don't come any closer. I'll activate the magic shield. You don't want your limbs to be on either side at the same time, would you? I'll carry him. Calm down. I'm here to help. Shay, I understand that Tana does not deserve this. You're lying. There's no way you could hurt her like that, and then say that you care about her. If Tana refuses to share her power with us, there's nothing we can do to force her. Hecaton will figure it out soon enough. I fear what he will do with her when he does. No! That's why we need to get her out now. And why should I believe you? Yeah, you've been leading this experiment. What's in this for you? You know so little about this place. I still can't tell if this is... A memory of Tana, or if this is the real Arcarium. I don't know how, but Hecaton will soon unleash horrors upon us all. Take the key. Jean? Shay, our only chances of succeeding is if we trust him. Keep in mind, once the ascendancy process begins, you cannot stop it. Tana, your body cannot survive the transfer of your power to Hecaton. Am I going to vanish? If the ascendancy succeeds, yes. If it fails, your body will recover immediately, but you'll be trapped forever in an endless loop of disintegration and reconstitution. It would mean endless pain for you. I understand. That is why it is imperative that you remain focused. Keep your mind intact. You cannot fail. I believe in you, Tana. You can do this. Don't worry. Shan the Thief always has a backup plan. Our carrion spoke the truth. I, too, have a Temple Keeper's vision. I cannot fully see the future, but I see the cogs. Tana, Jean, Hecaton, Arcarium. The future they will create holds no tragedy. So, in the end, she was wrong. The King's Ascendancy failed, but what did they miss? The magic seal is ready. This test subject is stable. We're ready to perform the next experiment. We will begin the ascendancy process shortly. So the escape will fail, but why? 
Seems I have no choice but to let things unfold for now. There's at least one difference between me and Shay. I have the power to change the outcome. I'm here, Shay. You're late. Hero always makes it in the nick of time. Oh, what's wrong? That mark on your head is getting darker. There's a mark on my head? The one from your note. The purple eye. There's a... Is there a problem, Adele? Oh, carry him. Be quiet. Things are about to get interesting. So it was you all along. Did you really think a guardian of time would let himself become lost in the past? I'll set you free, Tana. We're leaving now? Yes, right now. Jean, it's a trap. The key isn't working. Yes, right about now. I made Shay interrupt things back then. But I'll do it for her this time. Oh, carry him. You can't do this. Intruder. Guards. What? But they'll see me. Arcarium, is this the key you spoke of? What is the meaning of this boy? Remove him. Make sure he regrets meddling in things he does not understand. Jean? <laughs> hey, Tana. Jean. Looks like I failed. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I wasn't a hero after all. What do you mean? You're here. You said we were leaving. Sorry, princess. For breaking my promise. I can't be your knight after all. <laughs> Rejection is at zero percent. It worked. It worked. The shock of Jean's appearance was just what we needed to weaken the subject's willpower. You willingly let him die. I admit I had a penchant for theatrics back then, but I accomplished our goals just the same. Jean? Jean? Why are you on the floor? Jean? You said we were going to go home. I can feel it. The power is strengthening. Your Majesty. He's still breathing. We may be able to save him. The peasant does not matter. Get rid of him. Jean, behold my powers. I ascend to divinity. I must end this. I know I'll forget, but we can make new memories. We'll be together somehow. Is that the anti-magic stone? Tana, you'll be in pain forever if you stop the process now. My pain doesn't matter. Hecaton, if I must endure an endless amount of pain to stop you, so be it! What have you done? I wasn't aware the crystal could have such a radical effect. The moment the crystal broke, the ascendancy failed. What could you possibly gain from doing this? I told you. I knew this would fail, but I wanted to know how it failed. And now I do. You're insane. And I said all those years ago, humans can be stubborn even to the point of their own destruction. You're as much of a monster as the king. And that's all you'll be seeing. Goodbye. Where'd they go? Jean? Not out just yet. Adele. Jean? Wait, did you just call me Adele? It's me. Flying fish. Flying fish? How? I told you th there'd be another chance. I gain useful information by, by entering Jean's consciousness. For a while. I forgot I was flying fish. Are you okay? As the will of the Erda. My consciousness isn't as fragile as yours. However, this new this new form is more cumbersome. But you must go to the tower. There's one more magic seal. Arcarium will have taken Tana there to try sealing her power one last time. Go. 
I'll be right behind you. What is this? Hecaton gained immortality, but at a terrible price. Never had there been such darkness and despair in the world as the day Gridius fell, and Shea was helpless to change any of it. In that moment, I could feel the flow of time like never before. All of Critias was swept away like a fallen leaf in a rushing river. I wondered briefly if the goddess Rena had done it, but the aura wasn't of the goddess. My intuition told me it was something more sinister. A great darkness awaited us. Isn't it great that I did zero right before this? So we know who Rena is? Soldiers. Can drag into the disruption. Can I not one-shot these anymore? Oh no, I can't. Arcarium! Adele, you arrived more quickly than I expected. And just what are you doing? My past self thought the girl's only power was eternal youth and immortality. But the Great One revealed to me that it was far more than that. It is the power to manipulate Erda. The source of life. It's incredible. And now, that power is mine. I will achieve vast magical knowledge and gain immortality. That shell of a human isn't worthy of the Great One's favor. And you think I'm not going to stop you? Please! Embrace your anger, Tana. Get ready. You are marked. I don't miss. Too late for regrets! See you turn to damage reflect me. It's useless to struggle. Can't you see? Your attacks are meaningless against me. Snap out of it, Tana! Tana! Jean? It's okay, Tana. I'm here. It can't be. I watched you die. It's me. How? Told you. I'd always be at your side. Sean. Everything will be okay. Why is it stopping? Arcarium. I can control the Erda. Not you. Is it over? You're not Jean, are you? No. This body was formed from the memories, just like everything else in the morass. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. What happens now? The Black Mage will find us soon. The Black Mage? Yes. He's aware of Tana's existence now, for sure. And she's learned how to control her power. He seeks to seal Critias, removing it from the flow of normal time. If he does, she'll be trapped. He'll only release her when he knows he can use her power for his own purposes. We should leave right away. A black mage, the memory won't be as powerful as the real thing, but still incredibly strong nonetheless. Now that Morass is deteriorating, we'll be able to escape. Jean? Flying fish? Adele, are you awake? I thought we were... In true fay, shouldn't you be a flying fish? Looks like I'm stuck as Jean. Tana must have been dropped somewhere else. We need to find Tana. 
That's impossible. What? You still don't understand her purpose. Only one thing can end her pain. And I'm afraid that's destroying the world? Yes, actually. So why did we save her at all? There's a bigger problem. Not yet. I'm sure the Great One will appear soon. The Goddess Arena's power will allow him to travel to the past. He will restore my power. I'm not dead yet. Black Mage. Arcarium. Great one. Please, give me another chance. I am not the one you seek. The Black Mage commanded me to relay this message to you. Message? You have done well. Rest. Here it is. The arcane symbol for Moras. Is something wrong, Flying Fish? Don't be afraid to call me Jean. It doesn't make sense to call me Flying Fish when I'm, uh, not a flying fish. Okay. Jean, then. Did you find a way to get your old body back? Not yet. Her power really affected me. It'll take some time to regain my old form. But how did Tana move on from here? She must have learned to control the Erda and push herself along. Maybe a path of Erda or a tugboat of Erda or something. We should be able to follow her trail of Erda. Right, so let's see if we can follow the trail she left. Last time I remember seeing her was at the Leaning Tower. Shall we get to it? The Leaning Tower. I don't think this is the path she took. It's just a haven for her displaced rage. I don't see any other clues. Let's return to True Face Square for now. Come up with a new plan. Yep, we need a clue to find another clue. We're never leaving this place, are we? No, that's pessimism. We're gonna get on the trail. Just have a little faith. Let's check the research lab. She was there, so maybe there's clues there. No one should be here. How did you come in here? With my hyper teleport rock? What's this? A glowing door? I don't remember this being here. It doesn't appear to have ever been opened before. It won't budge at all? Huh. Seems my swords don't leave any marks. I found something weird. I found a big door that I don't remember seeing before. Researcher, do you know what I'm talking about? A big door that's impossible to open? Huh. Number 618? You're telling me that you saw her. She passed as if nothing else in the world existed. So she went through the door? There it is. The Moras Dailies. They look just like everything else. Explore Choo Choo, H. Muto. Explore Latch, Dream Defender. Explore Arcana, Spirit Savior. Explore Moras. You don't get anything. There is no extra, there's only an Explore Moras. When you complete the Moras dailies, you get eight symbols. Eight is all you get. From Latch, I'm personally getting 11 per day. So, now that we're in Moras, I'm gonna start using these arcane symbol selectors on Moras. Which is cool, because it's the top option. Give me 30 of these. Yeah! You love to see it! <laughs> Enhance. Enhance again. Look at that. 700 arcane force. Nice. We're up to lead four strength. Just sort of progressing in the next area of the arcane river. 500 strength. I'm telling you, leveling up does a lot of nice things for you. Come over to Jean. Yeah, he has the Esphera quest. It almost feels like we didn't solve a lot today. I guess that's just kind of how Moras works. Because, like, when we finished Arcana, we solved their problems and everyone was happy. They're like, you can go on to the next area in the Arcane River. But here in Moras, it, it's kind of setting up for something bigger. And we didn't really solve everything here. In fact, I dare say we didn't really solve much of anything here. Which feels kind of bad, but... 
that's just how the story works. So, Tana went further down the Arcane River. And next Tuesday, we will too. So, we come back with Esfera. And Esfera is a place that I've been waiting to get back to for a very long time. The Origin Sea.